Hi guys this is Abhi from Engineering Master welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master in electrical engineering transformer is a major subject transformer is a beautiful thing which help us to use the benefits of electricity without transformers this mass electrification work will not be possible transformer is a big topic we will try to cover the topic of transformer in multiple videos this is the first installment of a transformer session in this video we will cover about transformers what is transformer structure and construction of a transformer working principle of transformer step up and step down transformers and different type of transformers and its usage let's go to the video what is a transformer transformer is an electrical device that takes a given input voltage and changes it into different output voltage without changing any frequency the function of transformer is to change the input voltage into different output voltage it may reduce or increase the output voltage the major role of a transformer is either to step up or step down the voltage depending on situation where it is installed so step up means increase step down means decrease the major role of transformer is to increase or decrease the output voltage based on the applications let's look at the basic structure of a transformer every transformer has three parts one is primary winding second one is secondary winding third one is magnetic core these all are the common parts in every transformer the primary winding is a main winding where the incoming alternating current is expected the ac supply from generator or power station which is coming into the primary winding primary winding is the incomer side the second one is secondary winding secondary winding is the output side the function of magnetic core is to increase or concentrate the magnetic flux that links primary and secondary coils basically magnetic core is an ion core for large transformers primary winding is made of copper for small and medium size transformer it may be aluminium for the magnetic core commonly used material is crgo cold rod grain oriented steel how does the transformer work transformer works based on faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction in terms of mutual induction we have covered faraday's laws in detail in previous videos i will provide the link in description box please watch that Faraday's first law says that whenever a magnetic flux link through a conductor change an EMF is produced in a conductor Faraday's second law says that the magnitude of induced EMF in a conductor is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage what Faraday's law is saying whenever a magnetic field associated with the conductor or coil changes there will be an induced EMF in it so based on that we have formulated equations EMF for voltage equal to n into delta phi by delta t. N is the number of loops. Delta phi is the change in magnetic flux. Delta t is the change in time. If a changing magnetic field is associated with the conductor, there will be an induced EMF in it. This is the working principle of a transformer. This is a picture of a transformer. In input side, we are applying an AC voltage. In output side, also we are getting some voltage. What happens if we apply an AC voltage in primary side? If you apply an AC voltage, it will produce a magnetic field. We know AC is an alternating current. It is a sine wave. Every half cycle, it is changing its direction. So the magnetic field also will change the direction in every half cycles. In the first half cycle, north is on the top, then south is on the bottom. In the next half cycle, it will change its direction. We can understand that. the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field changes in every half cycles if you look at the waveform in this point the magnitude of the magnetic field be at peak then it is coming to zero and changes its direction and getting peak again then going back to zero because of the ac voltage the magnitude and the direction of magnetic field will change in every half cycles as per the faraday's law if the magnetic field associated with the coil changes produces an induced emf because of the changing magnetic field in the primary side there will be an induced emf in the secondary side we are just transforming the input side into output side this is called mutual induction so this is the working principle of a transformer based on this we can divide the transformer into two one is step up transformer the other one is step down transformer a transformer is designed to increase the voltage from primary to secondary is called step up transformer a transformer which is used to reduce the voltage from input to output is called step down transformers 
in step up transformers number of secondary winding greater than number of primary winding the number of secondary winding will be greater than the number of primary winding this is normally used in power generating side or generating substations another type of transformer is step down transformer step down transformer are used to decrease the voltage from primary to secondary in step down transformers number of primary will be more number of secondary will be less it will be like this number of primary winding will be more the number of secondary winding will be less what is faraday's equation the induced voltage or emf equal to n into delta phi by delta t that n n is the number of turns we are playing with the number of turns if the n decreases output voltage decreases if the n increases the output voltage increases that is a game so this step down transformers are normally used in distribution substations or distribution sites we can classify the transformer in different ways based on the cooling medium it is commonly classified into two dry type transformer and oil cooled transformer based on the core construction we can classify it again into two core type and shell type based on the core material used we can classify as iron core transformer ferrite core transformer air core transformer then based on application we can say power transformers distribution transformers and instrument transformers you can briefly look at this first one is the dry type transformer as name suggest it is not using any oil or liquid for the cooling purpose or insulating purpose in this the windings or the coil is enclosed in a sealed tank or container which is filled with air or gas under pressure if our transformer location is inside the building or inside a structure then this scenarios we will use dry type transformer only it is range up to 35 mva up to 35 mva dry type transformer is available in the market in dry type transformer also there are two types of transformers available in the market first one is cast resin transformer which is very commonly used everywhere in cast resin transformer epoxy resin is used in between the primary and secondary winding it is used as a insulating medium it can use in a high humidity areas indoor installation and fire risk areas because it is non hygroscopic non inflammable and maintenance free so cast resin transformers are most common used dry type transformers then another one is vacuum pressure impregnated transformer vpi in this transformer using the pressure under vacuum a polyester resin is forced to penetrate in the windings this type of transformer is called vpi the next commonly used transformer is oil cool transformer in this type transformer oil is used as the insulating and the cooling medium to reduce the transformer operating temperature sub to 50 mva 132 kv class it is most commonly used outdoor transformers what happens if we don't provide a cooling medium in the transformer because of the heat produced in the transformer winding it will burn to avoid that we are using oil and air as a cooling medium then based on the core construction we can divide the transformer into two core type transformer and shell type transformer you can differentiate from the picture itself in core type transformers the magnetic core will be in rectangular shape with two legs or limbs you can see these are the two legs of a core type transformer the core will be in a rectangular shape then shell type transformer in shell type transformer one central leg or limb and two outer legs or limbs primary and secondary winding are placed on the central limbs the path of magnetic flux will be through outer limb so this type of transformer construction is called shell type transformer the last one is instrument transformer instrument transformer are used in ac system for the measurement of electrical quantities such as voltage current power energy power factor frequency etc instrument transformer is also used with protective relays for protection of power system maybe you are familiar with the terms ct and pt current transformers and potential transformers basically this transformer is used with a measuring device it is used with voltmeter ohmmeter etc current transformer is used to step down the current if you want to measure a current for example 1000 ampere current you have to make what we will do we will proportionally reduce the current in a 1 is to 5 ratio or 1 is to 10 ratio using a current transformer if the ammeter read 1 means 1 into 10 10 ampere like that because we are reducing the current in a proportional way just we have to multiply this with the multiplier another one is a potential transformer potential transformer the function is to reduce the voltage of the power system to lower level this is used with a voltmeter in high voltage application also we cannot directly connect a voltmeter to a circuit so 
will use the help of a potential transformer. The function of potential transformer is to reduce the voltage. So in PD it may be in 1 is to 100 ratio. For the 1000 volt PD will convert in output as a 10 volts. We can measure the 10 volt and use a 100 as a multiplier. That's it guys. Please write your comments in the comment section. In every coming transformer videos we will try to go into deep and we will try to analyze one property. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.